Hello, I'm Jill at ingvid.com and today's lesson is not actually a lesson. We're doing something a little bit different and we are having an interview with a guest whose name is Chong, who has very kindly come. Uh, he's agreed to be interviewed today about his um, experience of living and working here in the UK. So, Chong, mm -hmm. welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And would you like to just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, mm -hmm. how long you've been in the UK? Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, okay, my name is MK Chong. I've been in the UK for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, I work as a surveyor. You're a... I'm a surveyor. You're a surveyor yeah. in, the, in the building Yeah, in industry. the building, yeah, correct. Okay. Right. And what country are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Aha. Uh -huh. So what language, uh, what, what is your native language or languages from there? All right, now in Malaysia, um, the official language is Malay, mm -hmm. and then we use our mother, lang mother tongue language, which is Chinese, ah. Mandarin and Cantonese, and then we study English as well in our school. Oh, okay. So, so you started as a child learning two languages, Chinese and Malay, is that right? Yeah, Chinese, Malay. And English. English as well. Yeah. So did, did people speak English within your family as you were growing up or was that at school? Well, um, some of my families they studied, they studied English with English background. They would speak English to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh, well, most of my family members, they speak Chinese to me. Right, okay. But, but from a very young age, it sounds like you were hearing and speaking English. You were learning English yeah. from, from quite a young age, yes. were you? I would say very basic English. Yes. Really basic. Basic, basic words. And basic for children word. anyway, children learn basic yes. words, don't yes. they? And then as we grow up, we, we learn bigger words. So. Yes. Um, so that's, that's right. how it goes. Yeah. So, so when right. you went to school, mm -hmm. did, did they give you lessons in English? Yes, they did. Now, um, each day we will have about an hour to two hours of English class or English right. course. Right, okay. And uh, do you remember much about it? Did you enjoy it? Did, were the, you know, did you have interesting lessons in English? Uh, well, again, uh, when we start, uh, I would say because we got a textbook, so we use a textbook to uh, an hour to two hours per day studying uh. it, which is quite interesting because we got three languages mm -hmm. and we have to express ourselves in three different ways. Oh, I see. So you were working from a textbook. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but, and using your Malay, Chinese and English. Yeah. In, in the lesson. Yes. So yes. an hour or two hours a day, that was that was quite a lot then. Yes. That was quite good. So yeah. do, do you feel that you learnt, you got a good sort of basic grounding in English yeah. from school? I would say it's a basic um, English language that we, we have learned in our schools as well as our official language, which is um, Malay oh. and Chinese. Ah. Okay, so so that's good. So so then, um, as you as you grew up and went through school, mm -hmm. were you, were you still continuing to use English? Yes, uh, we studied from the primary school up to the secondary school. As I say, it's between an hour to two hours um, during our school days, mm -hmm. and then when I get to the college, and we use English as our background studies, for example, we use English for the um, courses, all the courses, technical uh, subjects, we use English. Oh, I see. So that's interesting. So for your sort of professional training, it is. You, you were using English. Yes. Still in Malaysia. Yes. This was. Yes. Ah, okay. So you were learning your profession and using the English language. Yeah. 
as you did that. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, and uh, at that time, we, we studied quite minimal Malay language and we didn't use Chinese from that point onwards oh. because we, we realised English language is very important yes. for yes. my profession. Right, okay. And and then, um, do you, what? tell us a little bit about your um, outside work. What sort of interests do you have? All right, now, uh, outside of the world, I do some readings as well as I do some swimming and I, I play badminton as well. Oh, badminton and swimming. So, <laughs> so that's very healthy to keep to keep fit physically <laughs> that's very good <laughs> excellent <laughs> lovely right. okay mm. so can can you tell us um what about when you first came to the uk what what was your purpose and, and when was it all right i first came to the uk in 2002 for a short-term course in sheffield which is in uh, Sheffield Alam University. Ah, so Sheffield up in Yorkshire, so Yorkshire, about yes. 200 miles north of London, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's that correct. Is. So that was a short course. Then a short course. At, at university in correct. Sheffield. Yes. Okay. That was like 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Okay. <laughs> so what was that like, your sort of first impressions of the UK up in Yorkshire, not even in London? Yeah. Um, we, it's very cold, what I remember is very cold. Cold? Was, <laughs> was it the winter? No, it wasn't, it's only in the summer. Oh, it was in the summer <laughs> and it was cold. <laughs> yes, because I, I, I yeah, in, uh, <laughs> I, I'm from Malaysia, we are from a tropical country. So you're, you're in a pro tropical country, <laughs> Malaysia, so even the summer in Yorkshire yeah. was a shock. Yeah, I feel a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Uh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah. And and apart from the the cold weather up in Yorkshire in the summer, what mm. were there any other uh, you know unexpected things? Oh, uh, I find so the things quite different compared to Malaysia. It's about the food. The food. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So can you can you give an example? No, uh, in Malaysia. I eat a lot of rice and dishes, and yes. here um, they got um, English dishes. For example, we got the English big breakfast. Big, big breakfast. Oh, the big, the, the big, big English. The what's it called? The full English full breakfast. English breakfast. So, it. and then uh, we have uh, fish and chips as fish well and as chips. Sa sausage and mash. Yes, yeah, which are quite different compared to my. <laughs> Malaysian yes, food. Yes, from compared to Malaysian food with lots of rice and yeah. <laughs> and, and things like that. So, um, was that the kind of food that they were serving in the university in the in the catering? Oh yeah. At the university. Yeah. Yeah, so. and they sometimes they even serve like the rose, rose dinner. Or they call it a rose. Yes. So lunch. roast meat and yes. vegetables and yeah. maybe gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what did you think of that kind of food when you first oh, I quite like saw it? it. You... Yeah, I like it. it. I believe it's quite balanced because they got some veg as well, isn't it? Yes. The veg and mashed potato and some rolls to yes. go with it. So, uh, a, a bread roll? Uh, the roast, uh, the roast meat. Oh, the roast meat. <laughs> yes, sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, 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 yes, that's, right. <laughs> that's it. So it, it's quite healthy, quite a balanced yes. food, and yes. of course vegetables are always, um, yes. you know, good for you. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. something like though the full English breakfast. Mm -hmm. Can can you for people who don't know mm -hmm. what the full English breakfast is? Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us what the what the different uh, ingredients oh, are? Right. Okay, now um, it's served as 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 the name is serving for the breakfast, mm -hmm. and then um, within that dish we got sausage. Sausage. Yeah, yes. We got bacon. We got. Baked beans. Bacon and baked beans. Yeah, uh, with mushrooms. Mushrooms. And uh, slices of toast. Slice of toast. And yeah. is that sometimes fried? Fry There's a fried bread yeah. variety, of, yeah. you know, when the bread is actually fried. Yeah, fried. So it's very full of 
yeah. fat, isn't <laughs> it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is quite tasty, though. Yes. It, oh, it tastes lovely. <laughs> yes. And and any other ingredients? Uh, and uh, it's served with a cup of tea or coffee. Oh, cup of tea or coffee yeah, at the same. So you drink tea or coffee at the same time yeah. as having your breakfast. Yeah. And yeah. do they have anything else like? Um, is it tomato or yeah. egg? Yeah, sometimes with some set, then we have some tomatoes and with hash brown, and sometimes you can request for a bubbles. Bubbles, which is like uh, mashed potatoes with some veggie and oh, then yes. pan fry it or grill oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I think, is that bubble and squeak? Bubble and squeak. Bub that's it. Bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak. Oh, <laughs> I think we need a whole lesson on that to explain. But uh, anyway, so that's. If you imagine, you must have to have a very large plate yeah. for, for all those ingredients. Yes, yes of course. Um, <laughs> so, and you mentioned hash browns, mm -hmm. which that's a kind of potato, isn't it? Yes, I think they cut it into pieces yes. and in, into a triangular shape. Ah, oh, triangular. I was trying to remember what shape. <laughs> And then do they are they sort of fried or yeah they're fried fried right, so right. fried potato like chips only mm. triangular so <laughs> sounds good so yeah. sounds very nice so did you uh, you enjoyed having the full English breakfast yes then? of course I enjoy it. yeah I have it every weekend <laughs> every weekend <laughs> yeah. yes and if you have that for breakfast you you don't really need very much at lunchtime yeah, that is true. Do you? You may be able to go through to the evening. I with... would say I might have a late lunch after oh, a late my lunch. <laughs> right. <laughs> English breakfast. Great. <laughs> okay. So, and apart from up in up in Yorkshire, of course, mm -hmm. you you mentioned your lectures mm -hmm. lecturers mm -hmm. you were speaking probably in the RP accent. Yes, correct. So, presumably, you could understand your lecturers yes. well. Um, what about people outside the university, people, if you went into a shop to buy something and mm -hmm. had to speak to a shop assistant or something, what was it like speaking to the local people? Now, uh, yeah, at the time we got, an, I realised we got some local accent, mm -hmm. which I can't really understand at that time. However, because that is a short-term pause, I didn't stay here for long. Oh. I went back to oh. Malaysia. I see. So, so how long was that course? It's about three months. Three months. Three months. So you didn't really yeah. have much opportunity to get to know the local area so much. Yeah, or, correct. Uh, so, but if you did hear, did you hear a few local people, and, and was it difficult to? Yeah, it's quite difficult for me even if I go to the market to get some some food. It's quite mm. difficult for me to understand. I have to always ask, pardon, and, and can you please repeat again? Repeat it, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because people, uh, apart from their accent, mm -hmm. there might be unusual words like dialect words yes. that, that you might not recognise because they they have a particular set of words yeah. in Yorkshire that maybe people in other parts of the country yes. don't use. Yes. So, okay. <laughs> so then that was a short course, three months, and yeah. then you went back to Malaysia. Yeah. So how long was it before you came back again? Oh, okay, it, it took me about five years ah, okay. before I came back again. Right. And then that was um, on the further educations, um, I pursue my further educations in the UK. Mm -hmm. Well, this time I'm in the London. Oh, you were in London uh, next time. Yeah. Okay, whereabouts in London was it? In the University of Greenwich. Greenwich. So Greenwich, that's southeast yes. London, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So an area um, I think we both know very well. <laughs> 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 and and so what was how long was that course? A, a year and a half. Ah, okay. A year and a half, and uh, again, this is a, a a further study course, and um, the lecturers they are using RP, which I could understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then when I um finished the course and start to look for a job, mm -hmm. and then um I 
I have again I have the difficulties in understanding the local accent. Yes, yes, because also in London there's a local accent. I know. <laughs> uh, we we've had a lesson on the Cockney accent, <laughs> so um, that that's not always easy to understand. Yeah. So. Um, um, so how did you how did you cope with this um, the difficulty? How did you manage uh, with the the difficulty of understanding what people were saying in the local accent? Well, again, um, I would say is I'm a bit lucky because I I got a job in an English speaking environment. Ah, ah. So. That's good. Yeah, you know, my colleague and my friends yeah. speak in English. Right. And then when I got queries, I will ask them what ah. does it mean or ah. ask them to repeat again yes. for me. Oh, that's good. So mo um, most of your colleagues perhaps are, are native English yes. speakers. Yeah, and yeah, they are native English speakers or they have been here for long. Mm. So they use the. In the, the local language fluently. Right, and they, they know things like idioms and Correct. so on. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. That sort of, um, I don't know if you can think of a, uh, an idiom that might be used in, in the building industry that, that, uh, that you might not have understood at uh, first. Oh, um, the idiom in the construction industry, I had. I had a meeting with a contractor before, and he said, "No, oh, don't worry, John. By then, the world is hunky dory." Oh, it's hunky dory. <laughs> yeah. So hunky dory. Hunky dory. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't understand what does it mean. No. So that that is the kind of things that I feel like a bit difficult. I don't know what does it mean. Yes. Like. So you asked your colleagues. Yeah. What colleagues What said. does hunky dory mean? Yeah. yeah and okay. and do you remember what? What answer? Yeah, they say they will be done and done in a very perfect way. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it means everything really nice, perfect. Yeah. So it, strangely, I think hunky dory um, comes possibly from Japanese. I'm not sure, I see. Um, but it's a bit unclear. I remember looking it up once to find out where does that term come yeah. from, and it's not really definite, but it's possibly. Uh, Japanese, so yeah, yeah <laughs> hunky dory, hunky dory being used in yeah, in yeah. the London area. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, and there's a metaphor which is quite um, difficult for me to understand as well. For yes. example, uh, when we talk about certain subject or we forecast uh, certain things in in the construction industry or yeah. yes. in my work, yeah. and then my colleague will say, "Oh, don't worry about that." We will cross the bridge when we come to it. Oh yes, <laughs> that's a good one. Cross, yeah. cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Yes. But I didn't, I didn't know what does so he you mean. You thought he was asking you to go over a bridge, <laughs> yeah. literally, yeah. rather than just say when when we get to that point, we we will deal with it <laughs> then later. We don't need to think of it now. Yeah. 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 So that's that's good. Lovely. Mm. Okay. And. Um, um, so do you feel that, that that's a few years now that mm. you've been working in London mm. in in the building mm. industry? Mm -hmm. So do you, do you feel your English skills have progressed in yes. that time? Yes, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Again, it's because we got a very good environment, mm. English speaking mm. uh, environment. Mm. So I learn it from like from listening Yes. On a day-to-day -day basis, yes. and then I speak as um, I speak as many as I can. Yes, and I think maybe you also have to write reports oh, yes, and, or documents yes. as yeah. well. Yes, so yeah, it helps. So um, we have to. Uh, I have to use a lot more uh, local way to describe and write things. Mm -hmm. Mm. Writing things out. Yes, and then maybe dealing with clients and building people, yeah. and so all sorts of different people you have to deal with. Yeah, correct. So coping with everybody's different accents yeah. and ways of speaking, yeah. and all of that. Yes, yes, that's correct. So, okay. Especially like speaking, listening to them as well is one of the, one of them um, actually 
the challenges for me. Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. because I mean, people do sometimes speak very quickly. Yes. And even the native speaker like me, sometimes mm. I don't catch what somebody's said and mm. I have to ask them to repeat. So if I, as a native speaker, have difficulty with another native speaker, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, when it's not your first language, uh, you'll find it difficult. Yes, yes. But um, I, I've, I mean, um, although I, I start, you know, I feel it quite difficult to, to catch up with the language when I first came, but mm -hmm. I gradually improve. Right. Because right. You, we That's... listen and we, we listen and then we, we have a lot of English friends yes, so and our colleagues. That so really helps. So being in an English speaking environment oh. really helps yes. with colleagues and friends. Yes. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I mean, go, going back to the weather, I'm just thinking if you're from a tropical country, mm. you would never see snow there, would you? So can you remember when you first saw snow in the UK? Oh, yeah. I believe it's between 2000, 2007 and 2008. Right. We, we never had any snow in Malaysia. No. And then um, um, in the UK, the forecast there was a snow, mm -hmm. and then um, we are expecting it. But um, we, I went to sleep. Yes. And then the day after, in the morning, we saw everything just white. Every, and then yes. outside, outside the window, it was snowing, and we are so exciting. Yes. I'm very excited yeah. and I went out <laughs> without changing, without brushing my teeth. I just went, went out and stopped playing with the snow. Oh wow, <laughs> so you just went straight out yes. into the snow. I think an English person might think, oh it's snowing, it's cold, but <laughs> for the first time yeah. when you see it, yeah. you, you just wanted to go out into it. And yeah. And, and I do a snowball. Do some <laughs> snowballs. And, yeah, play with my uh, you, throw. With somebody and throwing snowballs yeah. at each other, yes. which is the tradition. <laughs> and you, who were you snowballing with? I was snowballing with my wife. Oh, with your wife. With my wife. So my had wife. she? Was it the first time she had seen snow yes. as well? Yes. So it was really exciting for yeah. both of you. To, yeah. To yeah. see the snow. Yeah, both of us oh, are wow. very excited. And and you have a little daughter, I think. Yes. Don't you? Ha has she seen the snow yet? Yeah. She has. She has, and then she is very excited as well. Yes. She's like, did Daddy look snow? Oh <laughs> and wow. And she asked me to to build a snowman for yeah. her. Oh wow! So you you built a snowman for for your for your daughter? Yeah, a small. One. Yes. Oh wow! So how old is she at the moment? Oh, she is five. Five. She is five. So, um, what what has it been like for her uh, with uh, her parents from both from Malaysia? Yeah. And and she, was she born here? Yeah, she was born here. Yes. And then she studied in the primary school now. Oh. Which is in her reception year. Right. Um, well, um, sh I have to say she is using English language as a mother tongue language yes. because she doesn't speak uh, Chinese to us. No. We always ask her questions. When we speak to her in Chinese, Cantonese, she will respond back in English. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she, she's been learning English really as yeah. she's been growing up. Yeah. But but do you do you and your wife speak in in Chinese to each other or yeah we yes. speak uh, Cantonese to each other right and we try to speak the, uh, our language to my yeah. daughter so that she grows up at yeah. least knowing an, yes. another language yes um, and um, so she's going to an English speaking school yes and she's yes. learning probably yes. a lot of um, way a lot of phrases, a lot of ways of saying yeah, things. she does. So uh, is she learning things that you and your wife don't know? So maybe you're learning other, uh, another um, you know, part of English from, from your five-year-old daughter, maybe. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. correct, because she learns, um, I think she got uh, a, a sessions, or I call it a method called phonics. 
so she learns phonics now, so oh. she can pronounce things oh, so more accurately. Oh, I see. So at school, the teachers are, yes. are teaching her pronunciation. Yes. Pho phonics. Phonics, yeah. So they're teaching her to speak um, in a, in a, a nice, clear, nice clear English word. accent. That is correct. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so can you think of any examples of things that, that your daughter has said, which you, you thought that you didn't recognize, unusual words or phrases maybe she's learnt from other children? Uh, not a lot. Um, let me take one of them. Um, there are quite a lot of them. I have to remember, if, for example, uh, when I say test call, and she said, no, that is not correct, it's test call, test call. Tesco. Tesco. Tesco, yeah. Tesco. <laughs> because I speak in a very flat tongue. Oh, <laughs> so the intonation. Yeah. If you say Tesco in a very sort of level intonation. Yeah, intonation. And she, and she tells you to say it Tesco. Yeah. And, so you've got to raise your voice yes. and make it fall yeah, again. Yeah, so it she's, sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> so she's uh, she's correcting your um, yeah, she does. pronunciation. Oh, she that's does. funny. So Tesco, for anyone who doesn't know, Tesco is a big supermarket uh, chain in the UK. <laughs> so everybody's heard of Tesco in the UK. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh that's thanks. great. Amazing. So, okay. And then is there still um, something about English? I mean, learning another language, it's always, you know, nobody ever stops mm. learning mm. another language. Mm. Um, is there something about English that, that you still find difficult? Well, um, although I have improved, uh, quite a lot compared, uh, compared to to me. Like when I first arrived in the UK, um, I'm still learning to listen, mm -hmm. and then again is how to speak. Yes. To to English people because obviously mm. they are there's a mother language they use a lot more than me. Yes. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so people who, they have an advantage really uh, yeah. when you're speaking with maybe a client, a, yeah, customer, a customer who's a native English mm -hmm. speaker mm -hmm. and you're having to deal with them on an Correct. equal level Correct. and maybe negotiate and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So that's quite tough, isn't it, to do in, in a it's quite when it's not your native language. Yeah, it's, got, it's quite mm. challenging. Yes. So I, I'm still learning. But it's better that compared to years before, right. and then I will keep continue to learn. Yeah, that's great, lovely. <laughs> okay, so so just finally, mm -hmm. um, I wonder if you have any advice for the the people watching on Ingrid mm -hmm. who are maybe in another country, not in the UK, but maybe thinking of coming here mm -hmm. um, to live and work or mm -hmm. study. Do you, do you have any particular advice for, for the viewers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would advise the viewers to watch uh, as much BBC as you could. Again, watch uh, as much uh, Envy as you could. And then um, do involve yourself in uh, English-speaking environments and make friends with English-speaking uh, friends right so that that would be my advice okay that's brilliant thank you very much chong you're welcome okay you're thank welcome. you for coming <laughs> and welcome. it's been really interesting hearing about your experiences oh, thank you and uh, we'd like to wish you all the very best with with your ongoing job and and your life here right thank okay, you okay thank, thank, thank you thank you thank you <laughs>